I thought uh, Purdue did a phenomenal job taking that game down the stretch. We were up nine with a little under 11 minutes left, and you know they really, really outplayed us um, in that last um, 10, 11 minutes. Um, I think you know Coach Painter is one of the best coaches in the country. I think this is one of the best programs in the country, Purdue. For us, you know, at the beginning of our second year of our program, you know, we want to emulate people like them. Um, he doesn't get enough credit for what he does here, doing it the right way. There's a lot of people in college basketball that, that, that go about things different ways. Um, but I have a lot of respect for Coach Painter and, and the way that those guys play. I thought uh, Braden Smith uh, was as much of a difference maker as anyone tonight. You know, as a freshman guard, to have the, you know, wherewithal to, you know, be as aggressive as he was in the second half, particularly the, the last quarter of the game, was a huge different difference maker. Zach Eady's going to get 20 in a lot of games. Um, I thought our guys did a really good job against him in the first half. Second half, we did not blind the ball handler nearly as well as we needed to, and we did not fight him for position as well as we needed to. A lot easier said than done. Um, he's going to do that to a lot of people. I thought the way our guys fought on the glass was was really really good. Um, you know, I, I thought our aggressiveness for most of the game was was at a high level. But we we got a little discombobulated offensively. Um, we got really really dependent on one guy in the first half and one guy in the second half, and that's really not the way we want to play. Um, and then I thought we. You know, we missed some shots that we normally would make, but Purdue had a lot to do with that. They were flying around, contesting. I thought one of the plays of the game was when Cam Jones seemingly had an open three up near the top of the key. And I don't know if that was Morton or who that was that rotated first. first. That, I mean, that, was a, that was a big time play. That kid, um, you know, at the end of the year, that should be on the highlight tape. I don't know if anyone here will write about it, but it's, it doesn't, well, it shows up on here as a block, but that was a big time play because Cam makes that shot. It changes the complexion of the game. Shaka, with that 12 0 run by Purdue, was that just a young team letting the game spiral on them, or what would you have liked to seen your team do differently down the stretch? Well, I think, first of all, Purdue deserves a lot of credit for the plays they made. Uh, a lot of things we would like to do better during that stretch transition defense. Braden Smith was, was really pushing the ball in transition, and they, they were hitting our guards, uh, and we were getting hit, and then it was, it was getting us off balance or, or bad matchups, and he was going to create. Um, you know, I, I thought that was one thing. Then on the offensive end, again, I thought we got a little dis, discombobulated. Uh, we did not move the ball as well as we needed to. We, we were able to get in the paint and drive. Um, I think Edie, you know, he, he makes you second guess some things in there. We missed some kind of short three, four, five foot shots that our guys are pretty good at. Um, but again, Purdue deserves a lot of credit for the way that they affected those. But there's no question, you know, we have a lot of guys that were playing during that stretch that last year were watching in those moments. So, we got to get better. We got to help our guys understand this is who we got and let's grow and improve. I thought we put ourselves in position to win on the road against a really good team, but we didn't obviously play well enough in the last 10, 11 minutes. Cam and Drop, both those guys can heat up in a hurry. What have you learned about how to ride their hot and cold stretches? Well, Cam needs to learn that when he's close to the three point line, it's more likely to go in as opposed to when he's close to half court. You know, he loves to bomb shots from like half court, and he made he made five threes tonight. He missed seven. I promise you, when we watch the tape, you know the ones he made were within two, three, four feet of the line, and he missed a couple that were from like outer space. Um, he's he's really confident, um, and I love that, and I love him getting twelve threes up, but he's got to understand. You know, what shots are better than others? And then, you know, be aggressive. I, I, I liked his aggressiveness. Uh, job can really – both those guys are gifted scorers. But here's the, here's the thing with them. They're sophomores at the beginning of their sophomore year. They don't understand yet, 
okay, what are other ways I can impact the game, even offensively, for my teammates because I have it going and the other team is focusing on me? And that's something that those guys are going to learn and improve. They're very, very willing learners. They're great guys. They're unselfish. So they're going to keep getting better. You mentioned the success on the boards. That 15 offensive rebounds for you guys. Uh, yeah, I thought our guys really fought on the glass. I mean, Purdue's a big physical team. And I thought the way our guys kept basketballs alive was huge for us. If we would have won tonight, that would have been why. Uh, because of getting extra possessions. I mean, we had... 16 more field goal attempts than us than them. Now they went to the foul line a lot more than us, which is is, is a huge difference. And they made nine threes, um, which compared to their last couple games, they hadn't made as many. Um, but the way our guys rebound is huge. We're going to need that on nights where we don't shoot it as well. We just we didn't finish the ball well enough around the paint and with those short three to five foot shots. You played Tyler off the ball quite a bit tonight. Was that a strategy just to get other people involved in, in ball screens with Edie, or what was the strategy there? He had the ball a lot, too. I thought he didn't. I, Bill, didn't you think he had the ball? I thought Tyler had the ball a lot. Um, you know, we got other guys that can handle the ball, too. And, you know, sometimes it makes sense to put other guys in actions. I, I didn't think we got to the second and third and fourth side of the floor and action enough tonight, whether it was Tyler with the ball or anyone else. But... Um, you know, I, I think this is a great game for us to learn from. We're going to be in a lot of games on the road in the Big East where it's a similar environment, a similar team in terms of the toughness level that Purdue has. We're going to have to be able to be tougher ourselves. And you guys got a quick turnaround. What do you want to see from, from your team? How do you want to Grow. see them respond? I mean, regardless of whether we win or lose, it's November 15th. And, you know, coming out of this game, our goal is to grow. We have a young team. We've got a lot of guys that are, are just kind of getting their feet wet in terms of playing at this level. And so we look at the tape. We improve. We get in the gym. We get better. I told the guys there's no locker room I would rather be in, win or lose. we got a great group of guys on our team, and we have a great group that, in terms of understanding that we all need to grow. Me too. I mean, there's stuff that we can all do better than we did tonight, and we're excited about that. You didn't let anyone else ask any questions. Any of the Purdue the media got any questions? I love talking about Purdue. It's a great program. Thanks, guys.